think we're all set. Hello, Maurice. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hey, 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 hey. On a Friday, Wait. on your English classes. What's going on? How are you feeling? Wait, I can't, I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? I'm sorry. Hello. Yes, I yeah. can hear you, Mauricio. Can you hear me? Okay. Hear me? Yes, right now, yes, I can hear you too. Okay, great, great, great. Can you hear me, Irvin? Can you hear us? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Awesome. Tell me, how was your Friday? Uh, and and what is your weekend? You know, going on. Like, you have any plans for your weekend? No, I don't think so. I don't. Well, uh, for today, which I usually, I usually uh, uh, share with my, with my, especially with my wife, we, we prepare some, 
son eh, tapas, vinos y tapas. It's a Friday, it's a vinos y tapas, and we, we drink some cup of wine and, and to pick up some, some uh, I don't know how do you say, uh, bocas or uh, snacks. snacks, some snacks and mm -hmm. these, drinks uh, or jam, cheese, something like that. So, and right. uh, and we arrange the war. Uh, no, you know, and arrange that uh, in and to fix the fix the world and fix the the fix the, all the things here in El Salvador and what and how was the the or or our weekend or what plans we have to do for the for the next for, for the example, next week. See for the next week or the yeah. vacation too, no, you know. Looking ahead, looking ahead. So yeah, you you have fun, but at the same time, uh, you kind of project yourself for the next week as well. So yeah, next week, next month, and next year too. My goodness, <laughs> for God's sake, yeah. you're so organized, man. Well, she is. She is very organized. I am. A, I am. I'm not. I'm not too. I am not too planning for a long time. I'm right. planning for short, short time, maybe short, term for short time. time, no long time. She she is especially in, in in that and all the things. Okay, the for planning for the future, she has to. He is in in charge. Okay, awesome. She's the boss. Yeah, she really. I think so. She is the boss. Now remember uh, when you remember when you say share, share is a very special verb. Right, because 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 share is is something that not everybody does. So when you say share, you need to specify what. In that case, I assume that you meant you meant to say, um, me and my wife we share time together, right? Ah, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. Because oh. because you could share many many things, right? Compartir, or how do you say, uh, or... Yeah, that's it, share. Share, oh, uh-huh. Yeah. Share. Well, in this time, it was my, it was my son, too. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Her, her, her girlfriend told his. her, his girlfriend told her that uh, it is too soon to came to my wife, my house, mm. so came later, no? And so, and he, he joined with us to share the cup of wine and so that's like. awesome that means yeah. quality family time yeah sounds like magic i'm happy for you welcome to mr rafael mr rd right Hello. i i know you now i know your nickname now rd <laughs> right do, how do are you do people call you rd rd no do, not really nobody really? calls you like that no, I only thought. you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's your nickname now. I got your nickname. It's it's actually right. it's nice. Uh, you like it? Yes. It's cool. <laughs> Tell us about you, Rafael. <sighs> the day it was very hard. The traffic was terrible, horrible. Traffic jam. Yes. Yes. Everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Really? I had I had a, a a difficult day, but I'm ready for the class. I love it. <laughs> That's the best part of it. Barbaro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what about the weekend? Do you have any plans? Are you going to take it easy, stay home? You know, vacation. Um, I, I don't plan. I I don't plan yet. I think I take a relax because I had a, a hard week. I heard you. Every time <laughs> every time you told us about your day, you said that it was difficult. It was a hard day. It was a long day. And wow, it means that you really spend it very occupied, you know? Like right. like back to back. 
you know? Right. Yes. Okay. But it's good to be like that. Okay, I hope you take a good time this weekend for you, right? And you disconnect <laughs> because we don't want you to collapse or something, you know? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me don't tell me you're going to continue working on weekend, RD. Are I you? work yes, I work uh, tomorrow until 3 p.m. But then I I take a relax. I will I will take a relax with my family awesome. maybe uh, we are going to the movie or hey, we are going to have is there dinner. any movie right now do you know yes uh, my my wife told me that i uh, sonic 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 yes mm. how old are you how old do you think i am i'm a little bald mm, let me see 30, 34. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 39. 39. Okay. Okay. I'm in my 30s. Okay. I can say I'm in my 30s still. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you know Sonic. Yes. Yes. Comes from a game. I used to play that yes. game when I was a child. Did yes. you? Yes, I, I play Sonic Ooh. when I <laughs> are you from my generation? Are you from the 80s? 80s, yes. No kidding. So we're almost the same age then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. From the 80s, that's the best time, huh? 70s, 80s. People say even 90s, right? Uh -huh. What do you think? What do you think? Mm, no 80s. <laughs> all right let's 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 talk to Irvin what about you Irvin what can you tell us good evening teacher uh yeah as um Mar and Rafael said I prefer the 80s <laughs> are, you, are you from the 80s too I'm not from the 80s but you I sound like, like from music. the 90s I like the the music style the the clothes the from the yeah the dress code it was interesting Very and interesting yeah yeah it's something cultural I think very yeah definitely you're totally yeah. right in general right people traditions people customs you know people wait to be more respectful the than now the movies the, the movies 80s. were awesome, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the movies, absolutely. You know, what was the name of this guy? Uh, this very muscle guy? Uh, he uh, was not from the States, but he used Arnold to do... Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> See? Schwarzenegger. Sure, sure. See how we're connected? Because we're from the same generation. <laughs> right at right. Yeah. Yeah. Those movies were a bomb, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. People really. still think that the first and the second are the best. The best. Uh, sci-fi movies. Science, sci science, fi yeah, science fiction. Yeah, that's true. I love them. Okay, so you have any plans for this weekend, sir? Well, I don't have any plan because you know, situation here in Salvador is very difficult. Tell and, me about um, it. Maybe I would I would stay with my family at home, and I will enjoy time with them. That sounds good. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You'll take it easy. Yeah, we have to be aware of the situation that is happening. Yeah, it's good to be wise. It's good to be wise. Take it easy. Most of you have a have the plan to stay home so that's that's best um sofia good evening miss calderon how are you doing report yourself please tell us about it hello i report <laughs> hello here from escalon neighborhood um you know like like a reporter <laughs> like like in the I radio mean, my right? reporting life is i'm happy but i a little worried 
about the platform because I can do it, the exercise. I don't know why. And sometimes there is little things, right? <laughs> sometimes it's a little silly. I know it's a little silly, but but I can help you. I can help you. Okay. I Cut send me. some image in, um, about the about the problem. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I haven't checked after I help um, RD. I haven't checked after that. So once we finish the class, I'm going to check that for you. And I'm going to chat you some information on the WhatsApp chat, okay? Yes, because I am study. I study all the questions. Oh, yes, no. Honey. I'm I sorry you're run. having a hard time. You're having a hard time, huh? This but platform. I try, teacher. I, a I, hard time. <laughs> pero no me rindo. ¿Cómo se dice? I never. How do you say no me rindo, guys? Give, yeah, give up. Wow. Exactly. Give, I don't give up. Give up. I don't give up. Huh? I don't give up. I don't never. give up. I never. I never give, give up. up. Surrender. I never give up. What? Surrender. I was going to ask you. What is the synonym? Irvin? Surrender. It is I, like saying, I don't give up. I don't give up. Correct. I don't surrender. I Repeat, don't guys. Surrender. Up. No, surrender. Surrender. surrender surrender can you spell it Irvin? S O surrender S U N R R N N D E R I think so I'm not mistaken surrender okay I just posted it there on the chat okay that's good. That's good, Miss Sophia. That's the attitude. Have the winner attitude, right? Yes. I'm going to help you after the class, okay? Guys, I want to thank you for being in the class, but let me see. Maybe I need to I need to chat on the group that we already started the class, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to take you a picture. Please give me your best smile. <laughs> we are in class already. Hey, um, no me aviso. What do you mean? <laughs> Friday. Friday is class. Your schedule for this uh, module is Monday to Fridays. So, what can we do? Hey, do you have any plans for this weekend, Sofia? Uh, go to the beach. Go to but the I beach. don't like the beach. My daughter likes them. I'm sorry, your daughter? My daughter likes go to the beach. I hate the beach. Okay. So you said your daughter likes to go to the beach, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah, so you're going because of your daughter. <laughs> Be careful, okay? Be careful. Be careful, okay? No, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm very happy that Irving, Rafael, and Mauricio, the, the three gentlemen that we have today, they, they decided to stay home with their wives, uh, with their families, you know? That sounds amazing. Always. You know, always, right? <laughs> uh, your wife is next to you, right? It's next to you. Let, let me see. Ah, okay. Because because you know what, guys? You know why? You know why? why? You're going to tell me. You're going to tell me. You're going to tell me. <laughs> yes or no, okay? <laughs> because a happy wife, a happy life. Right. Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yes or no, Sophia? Yeah. A happy and wife, a happy life. If don't be happy. Hit. If your wife isn't happy, well, it's going to be the opposite. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for being in the class. Let's start. Let's start or talk. Let's start or talk. Um, feedback from yesterday's class. Who remembers a little bit? What 
Um, Nobody remembers anything? The favor and be polite to. About, we spoke, give me, give me a statement, a complete statement, which we, what, we, give me a verb, give me a complete statement, who can help me? Would you mind let me something? Would you mind it borrow? borrow? We spoke about. Okay. Ah. Okay. Ah, ah, we. <laughs> we we studied. Yes, we, we studied. practiced about what? About models and clothes. No, it's not that. Yes, absolutely. Request with models. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We uh, we talked about favors, right? Favors. Mm -hmm. About doing favors to other people, to family members. So yeah. you were talking about some funny scenarios that I really enjoy. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to continue talking about that because like I said before, like I said yesterday, sometimes it's not it's not what you say, but how you say it is the way you ask for things. Instead of being rude, instead of sounding a little, you know, flat, maybe you can sound better being polite. And that's why we have the modal verbs. Okay, let me share the screen and let me know if you can, um, let me see. Let me know if you can visualize my screen, okay? Please confirm. Here we go. Please confirm if you can visualize my screen. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to learn how to make requests with modules, if clauses and gerunds. Woohoo! A lot of knowledge. Go ahead. Let's watch this video right here. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models. We want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder: you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so what are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there: can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop okay and what we mean by this is that we're gonna use a gerund right so would you mind after would you mind um, we're gonna have to use a gerund and I'm gonna quickly point that out here in a second 
So let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here. So as you can see, we on the left we see that if I use the expression can I borrow your pencil? That is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, we're going to uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? Uh, it's not to say that you're going to use that with the friend usually with the friend someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you it, it all depends you will typically just say hey can I borrow twenty dollars from you right um, but uh, as I mentioned uh, previously if you are asking your boss for an extra day off uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that um, so let's let's do the example. How how are we going to do this? So well, uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it? Well, you can say, "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, "Could you lend me twenty dollars?" Right. So I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs, the uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out. That's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow $20, all right? And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow $20? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you, got, as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite, right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite. Right? What will be another way to say this? Well, we can say... Um, would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars? That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression. Would you mind lending me twenty dollars? So in this case, whenever you see "would you mind" the expression "would you mind" without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression "would you mind," this is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me $20? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is, would you mind letting me use your laptop, as you can see? So we had to change the verb let to um, a gerund. Uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there. So those would be, I wonder if I could borrow $20. And I was wondering if you mind 
lending me twenty dollars. Okay, and as you can see, I also um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word mine or the verb mine, then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you, uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations, okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda, right? This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. All right, all right. You guys have any questions? So again, um, these are practically the ways for you to make a request, a formal or 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 informal, let's say, right? Do you have? Do you guys have any question in particular? Any comment about it? No, teacher, I understand, but I don't understand why I can do it in the platform. <laughs> After the because, class, honey. After the class, okay? I understand okay? all I understand. What happens is in the platform, there are small, small details that you need to consider, okay? Let me check what uh, the me, problem. Yes, let me, me. check what is not you. It's not you, okay? It's the platform. <laughs> okay, so we need to kind of understand it better. So I'm going to check and I'm going to help you, okay? I promise. Promise. That's a teacher promise. <laughs> okay, Sophia? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Great. So uh, here we have a bunch of ways for you to uh, make a request. Can I, could I, or could you, right? Could you lend me? When you use could you, the verb goes base. Could you help me with my homework, right? Could you borrow? You can say, could you borrow also? Any other verb in base? Is it okay if, right? This one, I like it very much. Do you mind if I use your, it's, it's very, it's, I, I feel it like formal. Which one would you use in a formal scenario? Which, which phrase would you prefer to use in a formal scenario? Remember that the idea is to sound very natural. Do you mind? I think so too. Is it between the formal and informal? It's, it's like neutral. Do you mind if I use your bathroom or do you mind if I use your, your car or? Huh? It's definitely much better than saying can 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 I or uh, right? It's definitely much better. Uh, how about you, Sophia? Which would be your your favorite expression when asking for a request? Would you mind let me use your lap? Now, would if you use would you mind? You need to use a gerund. Ah, gerund, uh huh. Yeah. So. But I like say, would you mind? I say, uh huh. Would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, but but my point is, Sophia, that you need to use a verb with the ing. Okay. For example, uh -huh. let is letting. For example, would you mind letting me, letting me, right, use your laptop? Or would you would you mind uh, helping me with my with my sister? <laughs> <laughs> Something like but that. But... That's very formal. That's very formal. How about you, Rafael? Maybe I think, do you mind? Do okay. you mind if I use your CD burner? Your CD burner, yeah. Do you mind if I use? Yeah, sounds formal. It sounds okay. And the other person, I like the part when he said on the video that when you when you ask a request formally the other person is very likely you know to to tell you yes to answer yes it's very likely 
uh, on the other way around, in the other way around, uh, when you say like, when you say it with can, it's like it's too. There's a lot of confidence unless you're talking to your brother or sister, like you know, or a good friend, or your best friend, right? Friend, Someone I... you know very well. Uh -huh. I All like right. this one. I was wondering. I like that one. I was wondering if you if you'd mind lending me your car. That's the very, very, look how long it is. I was wondering if you would mind, and then you need a gerund, right? Yeah. Okay. But so what we're, very, very formal. That's super formal, uh -huh. super formal. I like this one too. I wonder, I wonder if I could. Could is very formal, wonder is very formal. I wonder if I could use your cell phone for a minute. Long distance. <laughs> Would you mind? Okay. What we're going to do is that we're going to make role plays. Okay. I'm going to start with you and then you're going to take over with a different classmate. Okay. So we're going to ask for unusual, unusual favors. <laughs> Maybe things that doesn't really happen to you or maybe you may want to use a personal example right if you ask for help sometimes okay so i'm going to select mauricio ready mauricio yeah hey mauricio i have a question for you um i wonder if i could um I wonder if I could use your your computer, um, your new computer. I need it for a month. Really? No, I I I have another computer. I have a, a an old computer that I don't use. By my new computer, I couldn't uh, I couldn't give lend you it. lend it lend it. I. I couldn't lend them the com new computer because it's a uh, it's a uh, is that I, I use uh, every day. So I'm sorry, I couldn't I couldn't lend it you. No problem, I understand. Is the one okay? That's the one. That's the one I use. Yeah, that's the one you use every day. Okay, good job. Good job. Okay, you, you said can, no. If you can use for a moment or can I can okay, use it. Uh, maybe for five or six uh, for for five or ten months, ten months, ten, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you can use it, no? If you want to check your email. Not <laughs> a problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So now is your turn, Maurice. So you're going to ask for an unusual request or maybe a personal request to one of your classmates. Who would you like to practice with? Okay. Uh, Rafael. Go ahead. Hello. Okay, Rafael. Este, uh, uh, I wonder if, if uh, you could, you could, uh, you can let me your car for for one week. No, because my car is broken. It's difficult because I use my car to work and maybe I bo I I borrow the car for one day, only for one day. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, but it's a uh, Okay, it's difficult for me too. Though I will use the the Uber. I will this for one day. I will use Uber. Okay. I have a friend that much. he rents a car if you need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> with plan B. Plan B. With a special. With a special. Uh, how do you say tarifa? With special fee. 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 With a special fee, okay, we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, nice job. Now, I do have a question for RD. You said you used your car to work, or yes. do you use your car to go to work? Uh, to, to go at work. To go at work. 
say say to to go to work to what yes to go to work because because i, I started i started thinking uh, that you use your car to work i said maybe I am a uber maybe at uber right <laughs> yes no no, no right it's to go to work yes okay clarifying just clarifying <laughs> hey nice job very natural very natural not really many corrections or observations to make uh rather than try your best to sound as natural as you can okay so rd is your turn you can choose between uh sophia and irvin who would you like to practice with tonight sophia go ahead miss calderon action Okay, Sofia, could you lend me your house because I I want to to party. I want to make I want to make a party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind. I, mind. I like the party. Okay. But, as, as, as long but, as you but, can be in the party, right, Sofia? But yes. <laughs> but you are not invi invited, invited, invited. I, I'm not invited. <laughs> I know. Only your son. But you clean in my house <laughs> later. Oh, oh, but you clean. This okay, she she's establishing her her rule, right? You clean the, her house later. She says later. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I know. Okay, Good deal. Good okay. deal. <laughs> That's so much fun. That's so much fun. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> Let's see, Miss Calderon. It's your turn. You go and practice with Mr. Irvin. You ask an unusual request or personal request to your classmates. Go ahead. Irvin. I wonder if you could take care of my dog. Is a chihuahua. Uh, it... I don't mind, but I have a a Labrador here, and I'm I'm not sure about it. If if the Labrador will eat your chihuahua. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> my chihuahua is a little mini mini toy it's very it's very yeah. small Small. yeah like a rat like a yeah rat. and my my dog hates rats oh my goodness he's gonna he's gonna swallow it you yeah <laughs> no no it's a bad idea actually a <laughs> <laughs> nice job yeah, congratulations yeah. very nice job hey. both of you very natural very interesting oh there it is show it show it hello, hello. <laughs> oh my goodness it wants to kiss you what's its name <laughs> what's cheeky. its name cheeky cheeky, cheeky. like like cheeky. the cookies like a cookie because it's cheeky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amazing. Okay, Mr. Mr. Irvin, you're going to um make a request to one of your classmates. Who would you like to practice with? Mauricio, Rafael, or Sofia? Let's see uh Rafael. All right, let's go. Okay, okay. I was wondering if you'd mind taking care of my of my daughter she is nine months old old nine <laughs> months yeah <laughs> <laughs> really i can't i'm sorry but uh, i have to work all day all day and yeah uh, and i can't um staying home oh i understand that i'm sorry no worries about it 
<laughs> Wonderful, fabulous! Oh my goodness, for God's sake, that was a great performance, guys. Very, very natural. Like if you're really going through that moment, right? And um, I like the part where RD also um, expresses a reason. And, and the reason he gave is that he has to work. This man is working even on the role plays, man. He's so hard working. <laughs> so that's a very, that's a very valid reason why not being able to take care of um, the baby in this case. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. So Mauricio, I, I wonder, Mauricio, where's Mauricio? Can you hear me, Mauricio? Yes, I can hear you. I, I wonder if you could, I wonder if you could walk my three dogs. They are Salvadorian dogs. Uh, three dogs. Would you mm. mind, would you mind walking my dogs? Yes, we don't, I don't have problem with that. Awesome. I, I can do that. I can do it. Awesome, guys. Yeah. You're fabulous. I think we can move on. And remember that if you guys are English speakers, we recommend you to speak formally, right? Because you guys are studying uh, English. You are becoming advanced students. And um, in each environment, in whatever environment, it looks very good that you use, you know, formal language. And this is formal language. I suggest you to always use it. All right. Very, okay. very formal, very, very polite. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Let me go ahead and continue with the next part. Congratulations. You really surprised me with uh, how good you are, guys. Let's go ahead and hear this one. This is very interesting. It's actually a listening. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you to be very um, attentive. Okay, so we can listen to this um, situation here about favors. Take notes. I want you to be ready to take notes, okay? And then here. After listening to the audio, hi everyone, by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program, you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. <laughs> Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly. My bird? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. 
I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you will develop skills in listening for specific information. After listening to the audio program you will complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three requests. Your task is to write down what each caller requests and identify whether the person agrees or disagrees to the request. Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? I want to take some photos of my new apartment to send to my folks. No problem. You can borrow it. Oh, thanks a million. What happened? I can hear you. We can hear you, teacher. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Can you hear me now? Yeah, right now, yes. Okay, did you, did you listen to the audio? Yeah. No. No? But only, no. only the first, the, the first request. The the first one did you, did you listen yes. to the first one okay cool cool so i have a question i have a question um what was the item she was asking for a camera a camera correct mm -hmm. and uh did the person agree or disagree uh to the favor i agree i agree she agreed yes she accepted at the end and um i like when the other person said thanks a million like like thank you so much right very thankful because you know she accepted uh doing or helping her out let's go to the next uh situation go ahead We can listen. You can't listen? No. Oh my God, what's happening? What's happening? You know what? Let me see. Let me let me share know, one you, more time. You can share you can share the platform. Once again. Let me try once again. Okay. Okay. Okay, right now, yes. One more time. Here we go. Send to my folks. No problem. You can Hello? Hi, Robert. This is Tina. Hi, Tina. What's up? Well, actually, would you mind lending me your camera for a few days? Oh, that's the first I want to take some photos. Sorry. There you go. Hello? Hi, Maggie. This is Kyle. Oh, hi. How are things with you? Pretty good. Listen, I was wondering if I could borrow your bread maker. <laughs> My bread maker? Don't tell me you are going to bake. I know. I'm planning to cook dinner for my girlfriend this weekend, and I want to bake bread. And I want it to be perfect. I remember you baked some amazing bread with that thing. So, what do you say? Can I borrow it? I'll be careful. Well, I have bad news. It's broken. I've been meaning to get it fixed, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, too bad. But, you know, you can always just bake bread on your own. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go to a bakery. 
Okay. So, what was uh, he asking for? Uh, for a machine, baker. Uh, bread baker. maker. A bread maker. All okay. right. So, he wanted to prepare some bread for, for his girlfriend, he said. Okay. And uh, what happened? Did the, the person agree or disagree? Uh, the person said that it was broken. She was willing to to help, right? To to agree, but uh, the uh, gadget was actually broken. So, mm -hmm. so what happened at the end? Uh, she he decided to go to a bakery. That's right. He decided to go to plan B, right? Always have a plan B, right? <laughs> All right, let's move on. Next one. Hello? Hi, Li Ling. It's Phil. Hi, Phil. What's up? Not much, but I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Maybe. Try me. Well, I have to go out of town for a few days next week. Uh-huh. Could I leave Polly with you while I'm gone? Polly? Who's Polly? You know, Polly, my bird. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Your bird. I don't know, Phil. I really don't like birds very much. They're messy and they make a lot of noise and... No, not Polly. She's really a great bird. She's really clean and very quiet. She won't bother you, I promise. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I'll bring her over on Tuesday night. Okay, but you owe me one. <laughs> but you owe me one, like tomorrow I know I can count on you for whatever thing I need. <laughs> so what was, what was he needing? What was uh, he asking for? Ooh, she, uh, she, well, he asking, he asking for a, uh, um, Phil asking to Lily to care for her bird. If he I'm had, sorry. If he, hello. If he can, if if she can, uh, care her bird. Take take care. Yes. Take care his bird. Uh -huh. Take care. His let's bird. say take care of. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, he wanted her to to take care of his uh, bird, Polly. Uh -huh right yeah hey americans Before. really fall in love with their pets they they see them as family members yeah that's true it's true yeah it's their uh, culture it's true. they take care of them like they are family members uh -huh. like a son uh -huh. yeah it's my son my chihuahua you know they I'm buy clothes Americans even cry when their pets die. Yeah. I cry. <laughs> they cry. <laughs> I'm not American. You're American. You're American. You're from El Salvador. I live, I live in El Salvador. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Hey, um, it's been really fun. It's been really fun. Um what did you what did you what did you learn today uh rafael can you tell us a, a conclusion um what did, you, what did you learn today uh, i learned uh the the form that i uh, talking with the people when you're asking for for requests especially uh, right. Favors or request? A request is, is a favor, right? But it's more it's more formal, it's more polite. Right. In, in your company, you don't say, I need a favor. No, you say, I have a request. I need uh -huh. a, you know, a day off. I need a salary increase, right? Okay. Please don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is not a favor. That is, wow, that is a... Ah, it, is that a, how do you say una puñalada? Así, wow. Ooh, that's a stuff. <laughs> they okay. stuff you on your back. Yeah. Aye. <laughs> all right. All right. 
Needless to say, guys, it's 9 p.m. Thank you for your attendance. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday, okay? Monday? Thank you. Uh, we Monday. have classes to Monday? No, we don't have classes. I don't know. Well, you check know. the WhatsApp. Check the WhatsApp. I'm going to ask my boss, and they are going to confirm on the WhatsApp chat, okay? Okay. If okay. not, okay. If not can happy vacation. Santa. Holy week. Yeah, all the week, right? Yes. Okay. You say, you say yesterday. It's true. It's true. I believe it's vacation. No worries. I I'm Catholic. You're Catholic. I go to I go to Cargar Santa. Carry the uh, images, you know, Carry. the uh, Chris Christ images. Okay. Sure. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. We have to go. It's only a. This, this is my dog. Nice. <laughs> wow, it's a, it seems What's a, like luche. It seems oh, Max. like luche. Wow. Max, man, Max, yes. he's big. <laughs> no, it's a little. No, it's a it's little. Yes. I saw him a little big. Okay. No, uh, Sofia's is a small, huh? What? What? Uh, ¿Qué raza? How do you say? What race is your dog? Chitsu. What is it? Chitsu and 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 she is Mia. Ah, it's, ah, it's a, yeah, a couple. Ese es otro, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. eating. So you have you have two dogs. Two dogs, yes. Oh, nice. Nice. Me regala uno. Yeah, when they get babies, huh? Yeah. Hey, I have to go, guys. It's time to go. Happy weekend, okay? Happy vacation. Thank Take you, care. You too. Happy vacation. Thank bye. you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Enjoy it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.